The biggest story in the country is about how big Australia is going to be. And for some reason this passed without a lot of comment today. I want to show you what are the what is the current population of Australia. You know this, but it's now just a tick over 25 million people. That's the number in 2018. Well, the Australian Bureau of Statistics, and I want you to be sitting down, kids, because they say by 2066, less than 50 years away, it'll be 49 million people with an extra 200,000 on top of that. I want you to think about that. In the space of less than 50 years, our population will double. Now, this is a way faster trend than has been the case over the previous 10, 20 years. In fact, Australia was just at about 18 million people the best part of 20 years ago. But the idea that we're going to go from 18 to nearly 50 before the century is even three quarters over is extraordinary. This is the population that will happen in our children's lifetime. And to give you an idea of where you live, this is the breakdown that came today from the Bureau of Statistics. They've shown that 14 million people by 2066 will live in New South Wales, 14 million here in Victoria, 10 million people in Queensland, almost 5 million in Western Australia, 2.5 million in South Australia, the ACT at 900,000, Tassie with 744,000, and pretty much, if you want to stay exactly where it is, well, head to the Northern Territory, because that's going to be pretty much the same even by 2066. These numbers are massive, and these numbers are the whole game, because... The infrastructure that we currently have in this country and the infrastructure that is even being discussed at the state election coming up on Saturday isn't even going to touch the sides of today's population, let alone something that is basically going to double. The obvious question is where the hell are these people going to live? There's only so long that our cities can go out and there are many people inside our local politics who refuse to give up their piece of land for our cities to go up. There is no plan, no serious plan that exists to move many millions of people outside of the three major capital cities. There is no plan to make sure that new arrivals to this country will be landing anywhere but the already choked outer suburbs of Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. Now, these numbers matter as well because... They remind us of why we fight. Because if the population is due to double, and let's just imagine a massive chunk of that is the number of people that will be born in this country, it means they will go into a school system, a school system that has lost the plot, a school system that is going backwards in terms of results. And as we saw this week, a school system that has teachers inside it who plan to make sure that the next generation will never vote Liberal. Now, even if you're a Labor Party supporter, that should scare you. But at the same time as you're learning your times tables and basic geography and basic history, you are going to be given a slanted political view. The assumption of the elites is that most people should go to university. This is why we fight the insanity that has taken hold of almost every campus in the country. Even here in Melbourne, at Monash University, they deliver trigger warnings to their students because apparently they can't hack difficult subjects that are being debated in their classrooms. This is the challenge. Population will always grow, but Australia is on a path to growing too fast. With cities that are already full and infrastructure that is already 20 years behind the pace. And virtually no political options are being put on the table right now to build the roads of the mid-21st century, let alone the schools, let alone the hospitals, let alone the police forces. This is why we fight for things like what happens in the classroom, what happens at university. But these numbers, once again, currently 25 million people. 
The plan from the Bureau of Statistics, the prediction, 49 million by 2066. And I should point out, by the way, that the ABS was eight years out when it came to their prediction of when we would hit 25 million people. We got there eight years faster than they planned. So even if the worst-case scenario is the best-case scenario of nearly 50 million people, it's going to happen a whole lot sooner than 2066.